How are you feeling today? I'm feeling wonderful. Ready to get going and play. I'm feeling great. Can't wait to do this for Fisher House. We're gonna put in some miles today. My family is in the military and I believe in giving back to Fisher House and I'm excited to spend some time with my coworkers. Are you doing the full or half time? I'm doing the full. Thanks for coming today. It's a, a really good group. It's a, it's a long hike, it's 14 miles. Your feet are gonna hurt, right? Uh, it, it's gonna be hard, but that's okay. Let's, uh, let's think about why we're doing it. Let's get to know each other, let's talk. We have a lot of people in the, in the military in our family. So just being able to uh, do something for them and to really just bring attention to the service of our country that, that they sacrificed, you know, is, is really pretty special to me. I got involved in this march uh, through my nephew, uh, Ryan Kelly, who is a sponsor of this event. And I guess I just, uh, the more I learned about the event and the people who, uh, who made it through that march, in my opinion, some of the toughest people in the world. You know, they, I uh, got a commission in the Air Force. I was in a tactical air control squadron and our, our mission was to be prepared to go anywhere in the world with uh, mobile radios and, and radar. And they toughened us up quite a bit down at Eglin Air Force Base. I marched first four years ago. Just being a part of the event is worthwhile to me in, in a lot of ways. I'm glad that this event occurs so that people can help current veterans and current active duty military people. So Matt, this is where I went to high school. Graduated in 1961. And uh, it really, really hasn't changed much, uh, but I have a fond memories of that place. Uh, wasn't too great with the girls. <laughs> I was too shy. <laughs> About five years ago, I had what they call a heart event. My heart uh, during this event actually stopped beating. I had an arrhythmia that uh, it caused my heart uh, to have what they call a heart block and it stopped beating. Anyway, uh, my daughter, who doesn't live with me, happened to be at my house when this happened. She called uh, 911. The first responders of Webster came over here. There were two fire trucks, there was a, an ambulance, there were several police cars. I was still conscious at that time, but somewhere en route was when my heart actually stopped and these EMTs revived me and got me to a hospital. If they hadn't responded and gotten me uh, to that hospital and revived me when they did, I wouldn't be here today, so. Matt, we made it! Okay. Yeah. I got involved in this death march uh, after I had a heart event and uh, was in pretty bad shape for a while. What, what was your uh, function that uh, day? I, I was a, one of the paramedics on the truck. Oh, well then, I remember a conversation with you. The reason I'm here is uh, because of this Bataan death march, but also because you saved my life and I wanted to end it up here. So, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. I'm glad I was here today. Thank you very much again no for problem. saving my life. I mean, literally. 
and uh, I'll always, always be grateful. I thought I'd express that gratitude today just by uh, dedicating this march in part to those first responders at Webster Groves. Thank you.